I'm Brittany Lewis with Forbes Breaking News. At today's Senate Judiciary Committee hearing, Senator Maisie Hirono responded to Justice Samuel Alito's draft opinion. Hirono is a pro-choice Democrat and decried the conservative justice, claiming that he has always wanted to overturn Roe v. Wade. Declaring the potential removal of federal protections for abortion rights, she said that the quote, women of this country are going to pay the price. Let's listen in to the Hawaii Senator's impassioned response to the leaked draft decision. Two senators going to consider the legislation pending by Senator Grassley and Senator Klobuchar. The two are Senator Hirono and Senator Whitehouse. Senator Hirono. Your microphone's not on, Senator. Okay. It's on now. Uh, I am frankly shocked that the uh, Republicans continue to be totally shocked by the leak rather than the fact that we have radical right-wing justices on our Supreme Court who are poised to take away a constitutional right, not just any right, but constitutional right that women in our country have relied on for oh, almost 50 years. That to me is a shocking thing. And to listen to my colleagues going on about uh, comments that are made by organizations and individuals, that is called free speech the last time I looked. And I know for a fact that the Republicans are constantly talking about free speech rights. In fact, even describing the January 6th riot as legitimate political discourse. Give me a break. We are losing sight of the fact that in some 25 states, and in 13 of them, the minute Roe is overturned, abortion will be illegal in our country. The women in our country no longer will be able to control their own bodies, depending right now on what state you live in. And really, as we're talking about, make no mistake, there will be an effort if Republicans take control of the House and Senate to pass national legislation that will prevent abortion. The radical thing is that the Supreme Court is poised to let the states outlaw all abortions. 13 of them are prepared to do that apparently, regardless of the circumstances, regardless of whether it's a 12-year-old girl who gets pregnant as a result of rape, incest, regardless of danger to the life of the mother, that is a radical thing. To eliminate a constitutional protection that the radical right in our country have been wanting for decades, and believe me, they have been very successful in packing our courts with over 200 Trump judges with lifetime appointments, including three, to the United States Supreme Court. And it is th thanks to the presence of those three new justices that Justice Alito and Justice Thomas, but particularly Justice Alito, because uh, he is a justice who, who uh, uh, <laughs> lets it be known where he wants to go. The next is going to be revisiting Ober Oberfeld, the marital e equality decision. But this is something that Justice Alito has been wanting to do for decades. We all know that. And now, thanks to the three Trump justices, he's going to get his wish. And the women of this country are going to pay the price. Thank you. Senator Whitehouse, and then we will move to the no peck legislation. Senator Whitehouse. Thank you, Chairman. If Justice Alito